Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is going to be a really quick video, a really short video. This is just to help those of you that are um, having issues getting SIM experience, uh, SIM Commander 4 software to run with um, DX11 and iRacing. Uh, since I started using DX11 on iRacing, I realized my butt kickers weren't working anymore. Um, this is the easiest way to get it fixed. Uh, thanks to Razor Simon and Avengers76 from the Inside Sim Racing forums for help with this issue. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, here we go. Here I have um, Sim, Commander, Sim Commander 4 open right now. So what you do will be going to, into the control center. And by the way, you should have this checked if you don't. If you don't check this box right uh, right away, so because this is what allows Sim Commander to start running automatically when you open iRacing or when you go into uh, into iRacing. Uh, so instead of having to come into this so, so Sim Commander to launch iRacing, you can. Uh, it will. Uh, it will uh, it, sorry. It will automatically pick it up when you launch everything if you have this checked we will be going into the settings menu up top here just click settings come down into games and we are already in iRacing if you're not in iRacing if by chance you happen to be in a different game whatever you look for iRacing find iRacing in my case is up here so you should typically see this iRacing, iRacing plugin, members, iRacing.com, blah, blah, blah. What we are we're looking at, the main thing here is this. This line under weight on. This is what we're going to be changing up some stuff. And by the way, before we get into that, uh, make sure that this is clicked in as well. Make sure you have this box checked. Watch for this game to be started outside the commander. That way, as again, when you launch uh, iRacing, Sim Commander will know and automatically, automatically run. Anyway, we're going to be editing this line. Now, the thing is, let me bring, oh, let me bring this over because I forgot you guys can't see my whole tree screen. You guys won't see, uh, see tree screens. Okay, usually what you would see, it will typically have these two lines already there. It will have iRacing sim.exe with a comma right after it, a comma and a space, and iRacing, iRacing sim64.exe. So it will have iRacing sim.exe, comma, space, iRacing sim64.exe. What we are going to do now is to add a comma, a space, and iRacing sim dx11.exe comma space again and i racing sim 64 dx11.exe right behind all of these should be lined up together one behind the other uh if you don't want uh well to make things easier what i would do for you guys i would have it as a long string and you can just go it, it will be in the description you just copy and paste you can basically delete everything inside here wait on copy and paste the full line of text from the description box into here and from then on doesn't matter what you run whether dx9 or dx11 sim commander will automatically launch for you it will be that simple so typically what, sh what you should have here is iRacing sim.exe comma space iRacing sim 64.exe that's for dx9 now we're going to put another comma space iRacing sim dx11.exe comma space iRacing sim 64.dx11.exe that's these two lines here are for dx11 these two are for dx9 and with that your bucket your sim commander software will launch automatically 
you have no problem and it's as simple as that guys anyway as i said this will be a really short one <laughs> not uh, hard at all huh? and as, as again uh, special thanks to razor simon and avenger 76 for help with this uh, issue these guys can be found on uh, inside sim racing's uh, forums and um well thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one